Dumfries House in Ayrshire is a unique time capsule, a home and all its interiors left intact, exactly how it was first imagined in the 1750s. But in 2007, its future hung in the balance. Its then owner, the Marquis of Butte, decided to put his time and money into his other ancestral home and put Dumfries House up for sale. This piece of Britain's hidden heritage was about to be lost until, that is, a very important benefactor stepped in. Your Royal Highness, thank you for talking to me today. I know you're a very busy man. No, no, no. Why is Dumfries House so special to you? But I'd heard about this house, you see, um, that there was difficulty with it and that they wanted to sell it and find uh, a solution. But unfortunately, it, uh, it, didn't, it didn't happen. And I remember trying four years before it actually came up for sale as a problem. I tried to find a way of mm. seeing if we could help sort it out or find somebody who might help, a, a sponsor, a donor, whatever, but it was just such an enormous task. Prince Charles personally secured a 20 million pound loan that was still needed towards the 45 million required to purchase the estate, including the house and its contents. It was a race against time with just minutes to spare before the seller's deadline expired. Had the prince not stepped in, it would have been a very different story. And the reason why I wanted to do something about it was because the house is so unique with its contents. There's, there, there are so few houses left now which have its, their original furniture, everything designed for that house. Mm -hmm. And of course, by the great furniture makers, yeah, the Chippendale and the great Edinburgh makers, you know, Peter, Matthew and mm -hmm. Brodie. I mean, extraordinary to have that. And still in situ. Mm -hmm. So I just felt that it would have been a tragedy of immense proportions if the whole thing had just been split up and we would have been left with a, an empty shell of a house. And I know it would have just become a, a ruin. Unbelievably, in one frantic weekend, Prince Charles was able to finally rally enough support for the project, raising the money needed to save the home from the auctioneer's hammer. But that's not the end of the story. His Royal Highness is now working hard to find ways of sustaining Dumfries House so that it can continue to be a treasure for the nation. I mean, half the battle is to, is to I think, see if we can use it for more events mm -hmm. and all sorts of different occasions of weddings, for mm -hmm, instance. Mm -hmm. Because you can imagine it isn't cheap to, no. to run it all. A regular visitor to Dumfries House, it's obvious the Prince has a genuine passion for this historic home. Do you have a favourite room? Ah, uh, yes, it's well, I do run that It's that uh, dining room, you know, which is... The pink one. The pink dining room, because mm. the plasterwork is remarkable in there. And also, I think that it's the quality of the light that comes in through those windows. Mm. I, when I first saw that room, I thought, this really is very special. Mm. Well, I think you've done a wonderful job, and that's down to your passion and your commitment. And I feel I've discovered a real treasure from Britain's hidden heritage. I'm so glad you have. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for well talking done, to me. Right. If you want more information on today's show, check out our website at bbc.co.uk slash hiddenheritage.